Hi, how you doing? It's Matt Charles here with PremierGuitar.com. We are at the New York Amp Show, and I am at the Good Tone booth with Norm and Jim. How you doing, Norm? Hi, pretty good. Nice to meet you. Tell us a little bit about what you got here. Okay, um, I've got several different models. My main two amps are the Tandem and the Elmira. The uh, Tandem is a, a two-channel amp with overdrive um, and effects loop. Uh, the Elmira is a single channel amp with reverb and uh, uh, a lot of extra switches for controlling bias. I have a, a switch on the front that allows you to do cathode or fixed bias and I have an adjustment on the back with monitoring points that allow you to adjust the uh, bias current on the power tubes. So you can kind of tailor the sound to what you want anywhere from a, a kind of Tweety uh, 50s type sound to a, a, a more uh, blackface type tone. Wow, that is very, very interesting. Uh, can, can we hear some of that, Jim? Sure. Well, um, Jim is plugged into my overdrive amp here, so I'll start with that. Very good. And uh, I'll start with the clean channel. for a little overdrive. speaker is in that cabinet, Norm? That is a Weber Silver Bell, a, very, a British sounding speaker, uh, kind of modeled on like a Celestion, but uh, Ted Weber's version of it. Very nice. It sounds great. That's awesome, man. Show you my other amp here. Excellent, excellent. Go over to the Elmira. Excellent. And actually, what I'll do is, uh, is I'll show you the difference uh, between fixed and cathode bias. So hopefully what we're going to hear is kind of like a tweed type sound, and then we're going to kind of hear like a blackface type sound. This is a cathode bias, which will kind of be like a 50s tweed Okay. kind of configuration. Fixed bias, which is going to be more a blackface type tone. That is awesome. That sounds great. That's great. a really nice sound. No problem. Thank you very much, Norm. Appreciate Thank taking you. the time. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Appreciate it. Matt Charles for PremierGuitar.com here at the New York Amp Show and the Good Tone Guys.